Well, most of us have at least one social media account where we interact with friends and family members. As Small Business Saturday approaches, a growing number of owners are logging onto the social side to brand their products and services. Not on your side, Morning Edition's Maria Satira reports. And we're going to make up a batch of biscuit bombs. It's a typical day for farmer in the Dale and Snow Hill, with a phone in one hand and ingredients in the other. From the cutting of a biscuit to the icing of a cookie. They're coming, you know, from Greenville or Goldsboro, even Raleigh or the beach. So we have people traveling hours to see us. It's still an incredible concept for Stacy Bales. Her little bakery on her family's farm property is attracting the attention of thousands across eastern North Carolina. Having a presence on social media has really helped get our name out there and kind of make us a destination. The doors are open Tuesday through Saturday. The door is always open, though, on social media, a 24-7 platform. So I think we're almost to 7,000 likes on Facebook. Um, not as many on Instagram, but we actually get more interaction via Instagram, especially with Instagram stories. Um, it's kind of a more personal take on what we do here. The goal is to get people to visit, and the quality and service are what keeps them coming back. That's exactly what the Small Business Center at Pitt Community College is helping other businesses achieve. The whole idea of marketing on the internet, it's the first mass media that we've ever had that relies on interpersonal mm -hmm. connections. It forces small business owners to also become social media and marketing experts. And so recommends Twitter, LinkedIn, and most importantly, Facebook. It allows you to find people who have similar interests, mm -hmm. uh, who, who may be interested in your service or may know someone who's interested in your services and products, and it gives you a way uh, to spread your message directly. One business which got its start at the Small Business Center and maintains a strong presence on social media is Greenville's Knee Deep Adventures. We get a great following from all of it and they all build off of each other. What started as a hobby turned into a kayak, paddleboard and camping rental company on 10th Street thanks to the help of online branding and community networking. Social media has been a great way to help us get the word out without breaking the bank. As a small business owner on a budget, Kelsey Curtis chose to spend most of her advertising dollars on a website. So the rest of her marketing efforts are handled in-house or on the water through Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. We've done a lot of research on how to best utilize all the social media platforms, and that's really helped us out a lot um, as far as keeping a low budget but still reaching a huge audience. One of Kelsey's goals is to create a community through events, demonstrations, and workshops. We're always trying to do something that no one else has heard of, you know, something unique. It's a similar thought for Farmer in the Dale, to share expertise while developing relationships and attracting new customers. We love that opportunity that we get to have to create a community around good made from scratch food. That mindset fuels the posts which actually get the most likes and shares. Giveaways, questions and answers, and of course, personal stories. Be authentic, be yourself. That's the easiest, the least time consuming way to be on social media. You don't have to think through posts because it's just you. And that little slice of life, or a slice of cake is what keeps thousands all across America liking and sharing all that these small businesses in Eastern North Carolina have to offer. Maria Satira, nine on your side. Well, if you're interested in seeing how social media can work for your small business, visit your local community college's small business center. The services are free of charge and the staff members are eager to help.